What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the CZ A01 LD. Before we do that, I wanna thank my patron supporters, as always. It's because of you guys we can get guns like this. This gun was actually shipped to me by a very nice gentleman named Chris. Uh, he is a patron supporter of mine, and he loaned me this gun for review, so I can't thank you enough. You wanna join the patron squad, all you gotta do is go down to the link in the description and sign up. Also in that description is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa, uh, the YSS. Those kids could use your help, so please go down there and click that link and donate to those kids. And finally, there's a link to t-shirts and mugs and all that cool stuff if you go down right below that. Now we'll get into the gun here. Now the uh, CZ Custom A01 LD. Uh, well, first off, the CZC on the slide there stands for CZ Custom. This is actually made by the CZ Custom Shop, uh, not necessarily uh, CZ itself. So uh, unlike a lot of guns that the CZ Custom Shop puts out, like my AccuShadow, uh, this was done by them, internals included. So they did a lot of things to this gun uh, to make it more accurate and fast. Uh, the LD actually stands for long dust cover. As you can see there, it's got quite the uh, long barrel with a very heavy dust dust cover on the front of it, which adds to a uh, very large overall weight. Uh, and as you can see here, we're going to be referencing the old Shadow 2 every once in a while, and we're also going to be referencing the uh, Tactical Sport 2 uh, to kind of show you the pros and cons, differences, uh, in all these particular guns, uh, because all of these guns are designed for a similar thing. They're designed to win competitions. Uh, they're designed for different competitions, but they're still designed for competition shooting, and they have a lot of the same features, and they do a lot of the things uh, a little bit differently. So one of the things you're going to get on the A01 is you're going to get a very long and heavy dust cover with a very uh, large frame. It's a 52 ounce gun overall, uh, making it, uh, I am I believe, the heaviest CZ. Uh, it's certainly the heaviest CZ I've reviewed on the channel. And uh, between the Shadow 2 and this, you're looking at about something like nine or 10 ounces heavier uh, with the A01. And you're certainly gonna notice that in recoil impulse, which we'll get to in a little bit. Now you've got a five inch barrel here with a heavier uh, slide as well, which also affects recoil. And then you have some pretty pronounced uh, slide cuts with a little bit more slide to grab onto than you normally would on a stock CZ. As you can see, the stock CZ uh, slide there is very low profile. That's one of the things that's very interesting about it. Whereas the A01 has just a little bit more up top. Also a feature from CZ Custom is uh, Chris here has the 507C V2, which is a great optic uh, from Holosun. It still has the same pattern as the RMR, so you can put that on there if you want to, but it's milled directly in there with a little bit of a plate there. Now the reason why they do plates a lot of times on CZ pistols like this is because the slide is so narrow, the optic won't actually fit, and the screws won't go down, so they have to put a plate, and then they have to put uh, the optic on top of that. Certainly doesn't add much height though, if you can see how unbelievably low they have that milled and you can see how uh, easy it is to acquire that dot not very high over the hand at all very nice uh, very slick design on top of that you got a, a front fiber optic there now he has an OD green Cerakote job on the, on the uh, frame there looks very cool 25 lines per inch on the uh, front of the grip and then 25 uh, line per inch on the mainspring with some custom grips as well, making the gun uh, very textured, very good to go there. Manual safety on the gun, and you also have a double single action design, similar to the Shadow, uh, or Shadow 2, whichever one you want, with a very clean uh, custom trigger pull, I would say of about four to eight pounds, four to eight pounds, that's quite the variation. Uh, I would say four to six pounds, four to five pounds, somewhere in there, with a uh, less than two pound single action break, which really is second to none. Uh, I would argue that this trigger is on par, or even a little bit better than the uh, Tactical Sport 2 here, which has a single action design, uh, both extremely impressive triggers. Uh, the benefit to the double action is that you could carry it like this and have a double action trigger pull uh, out of the gate, which would be a lot safer for something like appendix carry, and then if you wanted to, you could still carry it cocked and locked like a 1911. 
Also, uh, a lot of competitions don't allow single action only in certain divisions, so this could flex into a lot of different divisions, whereas the Tactical Sport, with its single action only design, uh, is really only meant for Limited or Ipsic and stuff like that. Uh, so I don't shoot a lot of Ipsic, so I don't know a lot about it. I uh, shot a lot of USPSA back in the day and some IDPA. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, Ipsic where I'm from. However, uh, I understand the uh, concept of designing guns for particular divisions. So on top of that, we have a CZ Custom barrel in there, as you can see, a match barrel, which is very impressive. And then you also have the uh, CZ magazines. Now, this is a departure from a lot of the 75 series, like the Shadow, for example, which takes CZ 75 magazines. This actually takes a P09 magazine, so they say, although the base plates are a little bit different. If you've uh, seen my first shots video, you can see there's actually a little bit of gap here when you put standard P09 uh, P10 half magazines in this. Uh, they function uh, fine, well, a function as good as these do. We'll get into that in a little bit too. Uh, but it does make the magazine availability a little bit less. I'm not actually sure how the uh, price compares with the P09 uh, versus 75 mags, but uh, I know for sure these are a little bit harder to find. And most people that are CZ fanatics have 75 mags stocked up. You will not be able to use those with this, which I would consider a downside. Now, the barrel is made from uh, 416 stainless steel, and it is match grade, which does add to the accuracy of this gun. And one of the biggest features of this is the accuracy for sure. <laughs> this is going to be a fun review. Oh, I'm out. This is kind of fun. Yeah, it's a fucking phenomenal gun if it works. Yeah. Uh, there's some other upgrades to this pistol that I like as well, including the deeper undercut on the uh, beaver tail, which allows you to get a little bit higher, and also a deeper undercut, as you can see there, on the trigger guard, which I like a lot also. So. The old style CZ 75s kind of tapered off right here and they were actually relatively uncomfortable. As you can see here, they did a lot of work to uh, mill that out and I think that is a really nice feature that they need to stick on some future uh, CZs. Little specs for the gun. Uh, the magazine capacity out of the box comes with two magazines, 19 plus one giving you 20 rounds of nine millimeter. Uh, on tap, which is pretty nice. And the MSRP of the gun is $2,300. So now that we've got through that, let's get into how the gun performed. And I gotta say it performed really high in some areas and then really low in others. Uh, Let's start with reliability since it is the most uh, paramount in my personal opinion. It doesn't really matter how fast or accurate a gun is if it doesn't work. And I gotta say, out of the ones on the table here, uh, it is by far the least reliable. So one of the benefits of CZ is that you kind of get a 2011 style gun. And what I mean by that is it's the only gun, in my opinion, that really keeps up with 2011s as far as speed and accuracy. And you have a tendency to get it for a little bit less and you have a tendency to get them a little more reliable. My Shadow 2 here, for example, uh, is probably one of the most reliable guns I've ever shot. I have many, many rounds uh, through this gun and many competitions under my belt as well. Not with this slide, but with the uh, stock slide uh, in production division and with my other slide in uh, carry optics. So I like this gun a lot. I know it's going to work as, even with uh, some cheaper remanufactured ammo and things like that uh, that I have a tendency to run, uh, especially for training and uh, some lower powered ammunition, uh, 147 seven grain or uh, 115 grain uh, for competition. So I know it'll run pretty much everything that I need it to run. And it really is a, uh, it really is a comfort to know that when you pull the gun, uh, the gun's going to work. So far in the testing of the TS2 here and in the test testing of the uh, Tactical Sport Orange, which I had previously to this, these, these guns were also extremely reliable with every particular type of ammo that we use. Now the A01, we have about 600 rounds through something like that and we had a multitude of issues uh, i think part of the reason why that is is because this is a cz custom gun designed to be a little bit tighter fitting uh, for accuracy purposes another reason for that is i think i got this gun from cz custom straight away uh Chris there didn't even get a chance to have this gun. He sent it right to me for review, and I can't thank you enough for that. But I think a portion of this review 
at least that's what I was originally going to blame it on, was going to be the break-in period of the gun itself. However, as the review progressed, we had an increasing amount of reliability issues uh, stemming from all sorts of different things, from failure to feeds to double feeds, but the most common was light primer strikes. So frustrating. You have a malfunction. Just rack it, grab it, and rip it. Sometimes, multiple times in the same magazine, we would have, I would say, for every 100 rounds, we'd have about 10 malfunctions. So in 600 rounds or so, I want to say we had 30 to 40, maybe even 50 malfunctions uh, through this gun with varying types of ammunition. And again, it wasn't just light primer strikes. We had failure to feeds. Uh, we had stove pipes. We had all kinds of weird stuff going on with this gun. So for the price that you pay for this gun, uh, especially considering you can get each of these guns uh, for the same price, I've got a hard time understanding why you would buy this. I mean, it does have a lot more accuracy than traditional guns, uh, but however, I wouldn't say it was any more accurate necessarily than the uh, Tactical Sport or the Shadow 2 out of the box. It is easy to make hits, but I think a lot of that is just the fact that it is a CZ from CZ Custom, and it does have a pretty good red dot on there. I was able to hit uh, six-inch plates at 50 yards relatively consistently. I could hit my pepper poppers, uh, and I could run them down uh, from 50 yards, which is really uh, difficult sometimes for me to do with some guns. This was very easy to shoot. I can't stress that enough. Out of all these guns, I would say this has the lowest amount of recoil as well, the A01, uh, because it is the heaviest, and it does have have the largest amount of weight on the front of the dust cover. Now, does now does low recoil uh, equate to speed? Not necessarily. So a lot of times with a chunkier pistol like this, with heavier uh, weight on the slide, you do get less muzzle flip, which is nice. With this, with a chunkier slide up here, not chunkier dust cover, but chunkier slide up here. Sorry, uh, you do get a slower uh, reciprocating mass, but you do have more mass. So when you do shoot the gun, it just changes the recoil impulse. A gun like this with the the milled slide on a Shadow 2, shorter slide, lighter slide, uh, you're going to get a faster re reciprocation of the slide, so you're going to feel a little bit more recoil, but you are going to be quicker on target. Whereas the A01 going to be a slower, more of a push recoil impulse, but again, you're going to be a little bit slower on target. So it really depends what you want to get out of it. You want lower recoil, the A01 definitely has that. You want faster follow-up shots? I would argue that either of these pistols probably do that slightly better. Uh, the trigger on the A01 is insane, absolutely amazing. That two-ish pound trigger pull is so good, it just makes me a little sick. But the reality is, it comes in a gun that seems to have trouble with, as I said, 115 grain Fiocchi, uh, 115 grain American Eagle, uh, 124 grain Gold Dot, and 147 grain, what is that, Phoenix Ammunition, uh, and that's the, uh, not the Reman, but the actual uh, factory ammo that I use for my pistol caliber carbines for suppressors and stuff like that. So, uh, no matter what, weight or uh, factory that the ammunition is, uh, the gun still had similar problems, which makes me think that it has some issues internally, uh, maybe with the firing pin, and uh, maybe things need to go back to the factory and get smoothed out a little bit, especially considering the premium that I'm sure uh, was paid for this particular firearm. So overall, I think the A01 is an extremely accurate pistol. Is it any more accurate than the Shadow 2 or the uh, Tactical Sport? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, it might be a little bit easier to get the accuracy out of this gun, 
uh, just because it's got maybe a little bit lighter trigger than the Shadow 2, and obviously it's got the double single action advantage over the Tactical Sport. However, these two pistols run every type of ammo I shoot, and this one does not. And I feel like at the end of the day, if you're going to compare them, that is such a glaringly obvious advantage over here that it's hard for me to even recommend the A01. Now, if you have an A01 and it runs very reliably, then I imagine that is just a beast of a pistol because everything other than the reliability of this pistol is excellent. Uh, the problem is, is that the weight kind of pigeonholes it just into a conceal or just into a competition uh, type of situation. 52 ounces is way too heavy to carry. And also the lack of a rail similar to the tactical sport here kind of uh, makes it maybe not my favorite choice for a home defense weapon since you can't put a weapon light or laser or whatever you want to put on there. So it is really designed for a singular purpose and that is range fun or competition. Uh, in that also you're going to want a very reliable gun. If I went to a USPSA match and I had a uh, if I had a failure every 10 rounds I would throw this gun in a lake. I would be so mad. I mean obviously you can imagine how that would slow your times down. So overall I think that just because of the reliability I'm going to have to say uh, no go on the AZ one. However, uh, what we can do is maybe get uh, Chris's opinion after he sends this back, or maybe he shoots at a couple thousand rounds for it and see if the problems iron out. And if he does, uh, maybe I'll make a follow-up video. Like I said, CZ usually has a track record of very reliable pistols. However, this was made by CZ Custom, not CZ. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.